A show I was mildly skeptical about ended up being one of the most fun projects Marvel has ever produced. This was such a satisfying finale. I love how everything that's been set up over the six episodes came back. Like, even very minor things, like the LARPers that stole his outfit for, for LARPing. Like, those come back and they help. They help fight. Like, that was really fun. And all the different trick arrows, like all these different trick arrows that we get to see. That was awesome. And one of the best scenes in this episode was... Yelena finally got closure on what happened to Black Widow. Like, she's fighting him. She's like, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. No, no, no. She sacrificed herself. And she finally believes him. And he apologizes. And it was just such an emotional scene. That was very, very well done. Oh, so good. So, who thinks Kingpin is actually dead? Because I don't. I don't think Kingpin is dead. You never actually see him die. You don't see a body or anything. You just see the spark from Echo's gunfire. And yeah... It could be that they didn't show it because it was probably, like, too violent for Marvel or whatever they wanted. So they wanted to, like, imply he was dead. But I don't think that's the case. I think they want us to think he's dead, but he's not. Because why bring him back and then immediately kill him off right after? Like, they're not going to do that. Because, spoiler alert for No Way Home, you know, we know that Matt Burdock is actually, like, officially in the MCU now. So why bring him in and then Kingpin in and then not use them again? And they're doing a spinoff about Echo. So I think Kingpin is going to show up at Echo. I think what happened after she shot him was, no, no, I'm keeping you alive, old man. So I think, I think Echo's going to kind of maybe have some power over him now. We'll see what happens. I, I firmly believe that Echo is still, uh, that uh, Kingpin is still alive. I don't think I've seen the last of old Willie Fisk. So this was a very satisfying conclusion of the show. And honestly, if this was it, if this was all we get, if this show doesn't get a season two, I am fine with that because everything wrapped up. There wasn't, well, what about this? And what about this? Like, no, no, it all wrapped up. But if it does get a season two, we do get to see what happens to Kate later. That's cool too. Like, I'm, I'm fine with that. Either way, either way, whatever they decide, fine by me. Overall, I thought the show was fun, had well-directed action, well-developed characters. It was very exciting. Well done, Marvel.